hello welcome to the start of another studio vlog the first one sat like this i did a video that you'll have seen before this one but this is the first studio vlog that i'm doing so welcome cheers to you it's thursday the 15th of june it's hot outside if you're not from the uk you'll have heard a lot of uk people online telling you it's hot and it is hot uh, we oh, have just got no, there's no breeze, there's no air con, we are just all sweltering. So my legs are out, I have shorts on <laughs> and I have lots of ice in my drink and we're just powering through. But today actually isn't the hottest day, yesterday it was hot and I had jeans on, I don't know why I did that anyway. Uh, welcome, welcome to a new studio vlog, I'm back home, my desk, like I'm all here at home and I haven't shown you my desk yet. Um, I did a whole Patreon exclusive vlog doing a desk tour so I will leave that linked if you want to go and check it out. I'm sure you'll see the desk on pictures and throughout the vlog but if you want to see a dedicated desk tour go and check that out. I'll probably do a studio tour in here when it's a bit more finished but for now it's looking really nice like hopefully you like it. I do just want to say that I'm still filming on my phone so if the volume, if the quality isn't as good as what it normally is um, bear with me for a few more weeks and then I'm hoping to have either my camera fixed or a new camera uh, in a few weeks but it's just it's an expensive time at the minute I am like penny pinching like trying to save money as much as I can because I have a stationary fest in a couple of weeks which I need to buy a new stock and I haven't got it yet so I'm just trying to save money as much as possible this is the quiet period now in business like the summer is quiet and hopefully then Christmas is busier. I'm having some time off, which I've mentioned before. So I think I need to start telling people soon that the whole of August, I won't be here and like the, the shop will be closed. And then maybe June and July will be okay for sales because people might get their orders in and things. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm closing in August. So <sighs> I don't know, I feel a bit overwhelmed at the minute. Anyway, there's no real uh, like thing happening in this vlog. I am just working away on stuff. I have loads of little odd jobs to do and I thought I would take you along with me. I've just opened some lovely things that I got in my eHearts market from America. So those two parcels, thank you so much um, to Katie and to Andrea for sending those things, they're gorgeous. I absolutely love my little um, affirmation card. So I'm gonna every day like shuffle the cards and open it and put them in there. I will leave the things linked below, um, but they are really really beautiful and actually I've been sent something else which I haven't ordered um, and I can see it's come from Cora who I went on a live stream with a few weeks ago talking about Patreon. If you know you know does anyone else get this when they go on holiday at the airport? Oh my gosh I do and there is a lilac pen has this lovely ice lolly sticker in it and a postcard. Dear Emily, I wanted to take a much belated moment to pop a little thank you note into your mail for you. Thank you so much for being willing to join my live stream to talk about your experience with Patreon. I'm so inspired by the balance of business and family life you have built for yourself. Sharing your story and tips was very generous of you. Here's wishing you a continued success. Please do keep in touch. Looking forward to following along in your journey. All the best, Cora. I will leave Cora's YouTube channel linked because she is doing some great stuff. She's having great conversations with people on a variety of topics. I obviously went on to talk about Patreon, which covers all sorts, so I'll leave it linked. And thank you, I wasn't expecting anything. And like, thank you. I love this chocolate. I'm assuming you got it for me because it's lilac, um, <laughs> but I actually love this chocolate. So thank you, what a gorgeous gift. So that's everything I need to open with you. Um, actually, no, there isn't. I've ordered something else, but it's not a gift. I've actually ordered it. So um, let's go and open it and we'll chat about it. So I have a couple of events coming up the first on the first weekend of July and then I have one two weeks after that and um, both events wanted some things for like goodie bags and things and it's so hard to do because 
like do you send products like that's an expense and what if people don't like those of products so what I've done this time which I've never done before is I've had a leaflet made um this leaflet has obviously a picture of me it has my details on it has like a picture of what I do it's kind of just like a full summary of what you can expect from me um and I thought that would be great for someone to have in a goodie bag because if they're walking around the, the event, they can come find me based on this. Um, they can also take it home and if they find it later, they have my details on it. Um, but I also want people to have something kind of as a freebie. So I've made the back of it an art print. Um, so you can display that if you want, but then you also have my leaflet. Um, and I had a thousand of these made. <laughs> I don't need a thousand. So today I need to send out 150 to one place and maybe a hundred to another, like both events. And then I'm gonna take them with me and then I'm gonna hand some out at the events as well as people are walking by because the first event where I'm sending 150 of them, those are going in just the goodie bags, but there's more people walking around, does that make sense? So I'll just be handing them out on the day. <laughs> um, and then I can also keep them because like future events, there's nothing here that's like seasonal or anything. I'm not going to change my email or anything so yeah I think I think it's going to be um, a nice little addition so I need to pack those up and get them ready to go out to the event. So it's a little bit later now. I went live on Instagram to pack some orders and I had quite a few orders while I was on the live. So thank you so much to everybody. Um, it was really lovely. But now it's absolutely boiling and I'm ready to have a break. I've not had a break all day. I haven't eaten all day. So I'm gonna go and have a break. I do need to come back in here to work on a portrait later. But um, before I do, I have packed all those orders, but I do need to, um, label them up, get them ready for the post office and I wanted to chat to you because Munbine have sent me a label printer to try. So if you don't know Munbine, um, I have had their label printers for years. In the old studio I got mine. If you have a small business and you send parcels, investing in a label printer is probably one of the best things you can do. It saves you so much time and although there is an upfront cost to it, they last years and um, you don't have to worry about ink or anything because it's all thermal printing. Um, so if you haven't got a label printer, really think about it because the best decision I made. And like I say, I've had my Mumbai printer for a few years now and Mumbai got in touch and asked if I wanted to try one of their printers. And I said, I already use your printers. <laughs> so they said, can we send you a new one? Um, and I said, yes, please. That sounds nice. Now, I have been sent this one which looks exactly like my old one um, but it isn't it's the newer version of it and it's in pink so I'm very very excited to open this now you do know when I work with brands or I try things out I literally say to them I want to give my honest opinion on it I don't want to be paid to say anything so I have been sent this to try to give my honest feedback and to tell you all about it and the other thing I like to do when I work with brands is I request for an extra one to send to you guys as a giveaway I am so grateful for the brands that say yes to that request Mumbine are one of them they have sent me an extra label printer with labels for you to potentially win so please watch this video till the end and i will give you details on how you can get your hands on your own pink label printer just like i'm gonna open so i am gonna open it up give it a try i'm really excited because this says that it is bluetooth which is what i want i don't want my label printer on my desk because i don't have much room on my desk i want it over there so to be able to print with Bluetooth is massive for me. So we're gonna try that out, see how it works. And yeah, let's see. 
I was really excited to open this. Like I say, I've been a Mumbang customer for a few years now and the pink one is so my aesthetic. I absolutely love it. I was really excited to open it and the setup was so simple. It's a case of plugging it into the computer, downloading a driver and you're good to go. Now I was really excited for the Bluetooth features as I wanted to have the printer on the other side of the room. However, I did struggle to get it set up. It wasn't working with my computer through Bluetooth. So the only way I can get it to work is through an app on my phone, which does work well, but it's not gonna really work with my setup. So I'm gonna look into that more, but I did wanna just give you my honest opinion on it if you are looking for a printer that would sit on your desk this is going to work perfectly if you're like me and want one with bluetooth you are going to struggle slightly so look into it um, but it is a gorgeous printer and i did get it to work with the app on the phone it worked perfectly actually and i'll chat to you a bit more about it in a second It's now 10 to 5 and I have printed off my labels. The printer looks really nice in here. I'm really, really happy with it. I had some issues with the Bluetooth and that is one of the key things I liked about it, sadly. The Bluetooth doesn't work from my Mac. So what I've been able to do, and I'm sure I said it in a voiceover, is I've downloaded an app on my phone and um, I can print Bluetooth from that app. Now the the hassle with that is I do all my postage on my computer. I then airdropped the PDF file to the app on my phone and hit print. Now, once it was on my phone, it was so easy to hit print and it worked, but that is gonna be a bit of a pain of like sending the file across. I just wish my computer would do it. If you have any tips or you've got it to work, let me know. I can see it on my Bluetooth list. I attached it with a cable to my printer to get it to work, but it's just not. It's not doing it sadly, and I really don't want it on my desk. So I am probably gonna feed that back to Mumbai and say, like, that's an issue. Like, can you sort that? We'll see what they say. But yeah, I have a new label printer. I absolutely love it. And I also got the matching little pink holder for all the labels, which is really pretty. So yeah, I absolutely love it. Now I'm gonna go to the post office and post these. I will see you tomorrow. A few things I need to work on. And I will also give you information on the giveaway for one of these label printers. <laughs> Hello, happy Monday morning. Uh, I said I was gonna talk to you on Friday and I didn't, but it's now Monday. It's time for the, a new week. It's the first time taking Luca to nursery and then coming straight back home and coming to the office, which was nice. It's time to pick out my affirmation card of the day. So I'm going to just mix them up. I don't know if this is what you're meant to do, but this is what I'm gonna do. Pick out the top one. I am confident. Pop that in front of my computer. So today is a nice day because I have lots of little jobs to do. I am obviously editing this video that you're watching. I have a podcast episode to record. I have some orders to do. Thank you so much if you placed an order. Um, it's going really well. I don't actually know what number I'm at. I need to double check. And I have a Zoom call at six o'clock tonight, um, but I can do it from here, so that's nice. I have a secret project on Patreon that I'm working on and I have some stationary fest prep to do. So the next vlog you will see will be me getting ready for stationary fest which is happening in just under two weeks i have so much to do so i'm gonna chat on my podcast about what i'm doing and then the next vlog you'll see will be a lot of prep for that i'll show you everything i'm doing all the stuff <laughs> um so yes yeah, so i'm gonna go and record that podcast now and then i will check my orders, see how many came in over the weekend. I think I had a couple this weekend, which is great. And then we'll see where the day takes us. So the podcast is recorded. I chatted for about 20 minutes, so I'm just gonna, sometimes I edit it, sometimes I don't. I don't, I won't edit this one, but I'm just gonna listen through and just check it all because I film in different, um, sorry, I record in different clips. I'm just gonna check they all line up and then I'm gonna upload that to Patreon. The weather has gone super moody out there. It looks like it's gonna chuck it down, which means it's very cozy in here. 
I'm loving all the lights and things. It's quarter to two and I've just done something which um, is another perk with working from home. I ordered Subway. I could order Subway to the studio but it wasn't as easy to like have it delivered there. So I treated myself to a little Subway sandwich. So I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna uh, put a film on. I'm actually watching Black Mirror. I don't know if anyone else watches Black Mirror. Let me know if you're a Black Mirror lover. Um, some of them are too creepy for me, but I've watched the first two episodes of the new series and I really like it. So I might watch another episode of that. I've been filling in my sales tracker because I had a few orders this weekend. So I'm now at 64 orders for the month of June. I obviously would love to get to 100. So if you haven't looked at my website before, my shop, go and check it out. Um, I've actually put some new things on there this week. Um, let me show you. So I have loads of little mini pins that I brought to the shop earlier in the year and um, this is the under the sea set and they are perfect for if you want to get into pin collecting and you don't know where to start and um, these are lovely little sets and they make really nice gifts and things if you have to wear a lanyard for work you could pop some of these on there um, but I did get requests because I have three mini pin sets I have the under the sea I have the fairy tale set and I have the magical nature set and a few people messaged to say, could I sell them separately? And I was a bit reluctant to do it because I really want to sell the sets. Like I made them as sets, um, but I did understand having just like pick and mix of like what you want. So I've released them all as individual, uh, as individual pins. So you can, this is the bubbles one. This is the wave one. This is the little sparkle one. Um, so they're all available in the shop now. Um, it still works out better to buy them as a set, um, but if you just wanna grab one or two, um, you can now get them all separately. So thank you to those people that placed orders this weekend who grabbed some of my mini pins. Um, I am gonna eat my lunch and then I'm gonna go and pack those orders. But I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I just wanna say thank you so, so much for watching. If you are a UK resident and you wanna win a pink Mumbine label printer, just like the one I have opened on this vlog, all you need to do, subscribe to this channel and leave me a comment below let me know your favorite mini pin that I have on my website. I will be then picking a winner at random a week today for me, which is Monday the 26th of June, and I will be in touch. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. Thank you to Mumbai for sending me a label printer, and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.